자, 여기는 QUB, 퀸즈 유니버스티 벨파스트의 약대 건물입니다. 제가 오늘 작정하고 퀸즈 유니버스티 벨파스트에서 제가 가장 좋아하는 종목 중에 하나인 약대를 좀 소개를 시켜드리고 싶은데 렉처 두 분을 모셔서 학교 자랑도 해보고 제가 질문도 하고 약대 건물을 좀 보여드리도록 할게요. Sure. My name is Dr. Neve Buckley. I'm a reader in personalized medicine here in the School of Pharmacy, and I'm also director of internationalization. So my name is Patricia Minnis, and I'm the recruitment and events officer for the Faculty of Medicine, Health and Life Sciences. So we're in the School of Pharmacy here. This is our main foyer. We have a number of teaching spaces. Unfortunately, we have an exam on at the moment here, so we can't go in here. But um, I'll show you up here. You This is one of our main teaching areas that is dedicated for our School of Pharmacy uh, teaching. This is one of our lecture theatres that holds, I think, over 100 students. Um, we'd have a lot of, of our, our normal lectures here throughout uh, all four years of the undergrad of the degree. Also, students that will have the opportunity to go to other lecture theatres throughout the campus. The university um, is relatively all close together, so students will, will have the opp opportunity to mingle and see different parts of the campus. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to bring you inside here. This is essentially like a mock pharmacy, and this is a place we do a lot of our teaching for our students, especially in Level 3 and Level 4. And as I said, what we really want to do is to give the students the opportunity to practice their skills, practice their consulting skills, practice their problem solving skills, things like that in a safe environment because obviously when they go out into practice they're going to be doing this for real life. In here we have everything set up like the exact same as a real pharmacy. Behind the counter you have all the opportunities to check all of the computers, you have the same kind of computer system that you would have in a pharmacy. So we'd have people coming in You know, with a prescription to be filled, you then take it, you check everything. We also have then, maybe if there's a problem, you have to then phone the doctor to ask them what is it to try and resolve any problems. And then you will fill the prescription and there'll be a, a, one of your teachers will act then as a patient. And you give the prescription to the patient and tell them how they should take their medicine. In fourth year, we also have a course known as Responding to Symptoms. And this is like if somebody comes into the pharmacy and like me today and says, I have a cold, I'm not feeling so well, what can you recommend for me? And so that's when they will recommend, say, the drugs that are not prescription, the drugs that are just kind of within the pharmacy, but that you need guidance on how to take them. So this is um, a really important class. The students absolutely love doing it because they get lots of experience, lots of fun, and they get lots of feedback as well. I know um, some of our student ambassadors would talk about this and they really love it. It gives them a lot of confidence. So whenever they are going out on their placements, they've already sort of dealt with some situations in here and they also have made their mistakes here. So it means that they, they learn from that and it means they they're just feel a lot more confident whenever they are out. Just, just even talking to people and, you know, how, yeah. what questions to ask. Um, they always really, you know, always talk about this experience and how mm -hmm. it's really beneficial to them. As I said, you know, really those communication skills are really what's important. The pharmacist, the role of the pharmacist is changing to become ever more clinically facing. Really, by the end of our degree now, you will become an independent prescriber. So you have the ability to diagnose and prescribe, which is a new role for pharmacists. So it's really important that you have those communication skills, that you can talk to people, that you can work through problems with them, and that you can help direct people in a confident and safe manner. <laughs> Didn't know there was a, cla a class going on. <laughs> so this is one of our main uh, chemistry teaching labs. And you can see it's set up very much to try and look like how it would in industry or in other settings. We also have, all the students have the opportunity to kind of work in small groups together. So we have lots of small benches to let students work together and carry out maybe problem solving together, to learn that peer learning, to learn those communication skills, and to work together to, to kind of get through a problem. One of the questions, or one of the reasons we will say it's great to learn at Queen's University in Belfast is because of our environment. 
around us we are on a health campus so down the orange building at the end is the health science building the glass building to the left is the uh, welcome wolfson center for experimental medicine then just to the left the more green building is the cancer research center we also as said on the other side which we can't see we have our school of nursing we have our intersim center so basically this means that all of the healthcare professionals are learning together on the same campus. It gives our students the opportunity to work together because in real life they are not going to work as individuals. They're going to work as part of a team. So it's really important that they have those opportunities to work together, to learn how to communicate not only with patients but with other healthcare professionals. Yeah. <laughs> so each, each year we have about uh, between 100 and 150 probably um, farm students. Mm -hmm. So we also have our other two degree programs, the BSc in Pharmaceutical Science and the BSc in Pharmaceutical Biotechnology, which probably maybe have about 30, yeah, 30 right. students. So it's, it's a slightly smaller cohort, but a lot of that they, they will be integrated with the M-Farm degree as well. But we actually have quite a few international students mm -hmm. in this first year. We have students from Nigeria, students from Middle East, and so there really and are, Malaysia well. and Malaysia. Mm -hmm. So we do have a number of international students who have either come in independent of INTO or through INTO. Mm -hmm. And we have, you know, we've had students through INTO, through the M Farm for, for a number of years, very successfully yeah. passing through the degree. So this is the Belfast City Hospital and right beside it is the Belfast um, Cancer Centre. And as you can see, it's really close proximity to our, to our school. And this really helps make sure that we are being led by what our clinician colleagues need. The people in practice, either pharmacists working in the hospital or clinical colleagues working in the hospital, are telling us on a day-to-day -day basis what they need from a pharmacist. So we're making sure that we are teaching our students not only what they need to know now, but also what they need to know in the future. So this is um, one of our research labs. This is the lab of Professor Ryan Donnelly. He does a lot of research on uh, drug delivery using microneedle patches. So there's actually some examples of what these microneedles look at, like. They're tiny little mm. patches that can be used. Instead of giving an injection, yeah. you can do this kind of non-invasive delivery. So he has a lot of people working for him in his research team looking at delivering different drugs or looking at modifying the microneedles to be able to make things you know, as, as useful as possible. They have a 3D bioprinter, a 3D printer, so they can make whatever they need to do. They, um, but, and they're working on all kinds of things, everything from, as said, treatment for cancer, treatment for infection diseases, things like um, for HIV, so there's, there's lots of research going on here. Why, why, why Queen's University Belfast? Well, Queen's University in Belfast has always ranked one of the top universities in the UK for pharmacy. We are consistently up there, and I think that really does reflect the excellent research and the excellent education we do here. Also, Queen's is part of Northern Ireland, which maybe some people think Northern Ireland is a small place. It's not great, but actually we think it's the opposite. Because it's small, we know everybody. We know people in industry, we know people in the hospital, we know people in community practice. And because of that, we're always speaking to these stakeholders. They're telling us what's important. They're making sure that we are preparing our students not just to know the academic things that are important to become a pharmacist, but also those other sides, things like entrepreneurship, things like uh, future learnings. So we're constantly making sure we're training our students to be the best possible people now and in the future. As you said, we also have a lot of support for our international students coming across within the school. We've got a buddy scheme and Neve has just set up an um, international society for our students as well. So it gives students to meet, um, it gives students a chance to meet um, people from maybe their home country, but there also is plenty of opportunity to, to meet and make friends from people from Northern Ireland and the rest of the world. Um, so there is a lot of support because it, it can be a big jump to move to a new country, um, to a new language and to a new city, but the school will support the students in that transition. We have excellent English language support as well mm -hmm. uh, for all of our students. Actually, a lot of our colleagues from INTO continue to support the students throughout their undergrad. 
so in first year there's a lot of uh, support as a group but also there's opportunities for one-to-one -one support if they need as well so we really are keen to make sure that st international students are given as much support as possible to enjoy their degree I think rankings really reflect the consistency of our degree and how well regarded we are. These rankings are uh, made up by, internet, by votes from people all over the world. They're looking at our research, they're looking at our education, they're looking at our impact. So that is, all of that together is what makes an excellent school. And so I really do believe rankings are reflecting the excellent work we do here. And we also have the National Student Survey, the NSS, and that is that it's current students that, that are, are um, completing that survey, and it's always been very highly ranked in that as well. So that's good because it reflects yeah. the student voice as well as the research and everything else, just to back that all up to make it a um, good place for students. Yeah. It really is an important part of the ranking. You know, I think people think it is just maybe experts in the field, but as you said, we really are listening to the students and it's the students telling us what they have enjoyed and what they find, you know, good for their degree and for their future careers as well. The salary does, could be affected by the university? For pharmacy, it's an accredited degree. As long as you have passed with the correct, like with the, the outcome and with the, you have passed all the GPHC exams, I don't think it would, it, it's... It has is affected, but I do think though that obviously in the, the top ranked universities you're going to have a, 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 an excellent experience and you're going to get all of those you know extra learning experiences that will prepare you for your future career, which will hopefully mean that your career is even more successful. Yeah. It, it really it's, it's not very high. Yeah. Our, we are very we have very high student retainment levels mm -hmm. we do a lot to ensure that we support our students all of our students um, in throughout the degree get assigned as a, to a personal tutor so um, that you will have one-to-one -one meetings with a personal tutor who will help you with maybe things outside academia so maybe if you you know are lonely or if you are having trouble you know kind of not just with your studies but you also have an advisor of studies and your advisor studies will be there to support you in terms of academic progression. So if we notice that you are maybe falling behind, we try and address that as early as possible so that there aren't, you know, kind of, it, we don't wait till you fail. We try to make sure that we are supporting you as early as possible in the progress, in the process, so that it doesn't become a big problem. Could you please tell us about MMI in terms of yours? Sure. Students will have six questions that they will have to answer. Um, beforehand, I should say that students are brief. They will receive a lot of information on how they can prepare for it and what to expect on the day. We've got a very useful web page that we will share and that will give you some examples of videos. Um, each question is to assess you as a person. Um, obviously, we want our students to have good team management skills, good communication, um, good problem-solving skills. So these questions will try and reflect those and um, that will will answer for example one of the scenarios most of the time it's a mm -hmm. scenario based or personal experience mm -hmm. so a scenario would be that you are working in a team to to complete a group exercise and one person in the team is not pulling their weight how might you go about trying to, to help and um, try to solve that there's six stages, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Six stations. Six so stations. About each. five, I think they're five, five minutes, minutes long. So you will go in, you will be asked to just confirm your identity, and then um, they will ask a question. You'll have a minute or two to sort of prepare that, and then you will answer your question. There is, I think you get a one minute warning whenever your time is up. Um, the interviewer will, will read the question out. You can ask them to repeat their question, but will not be able to help you with the answer. It will be up to yourself to, to provide that. And you know, when the, when the question is yep. read out, you can make notes, you can take your time to think mm -hmm. about what you'd like to ask. It's not like an exam where you have to say everything at once. You can say things and then you can go, oh, actually, I forgot about this. You can add, you know, it isn't a, a very formal, it's meant to be, a, a, you know, a, a conversation. Yep. And I said, really, it's about just showing how you approach problems, how you go about things, how you can then, you know, learn, use your effective communication skills and use your problem solving skills. So is it difficult to pass? 
There's no pass rate as such. We say to students that if maybe their first question, they, they were a bit nervous, they maybe didn't answer it as well, just forget about it, put it out of your head, because the next question you come to, it will be a different interviewer, and it will be marked separately. So you could maybe make up a couple of um, marks that you maybe missed on, on a previous question. So we just say to students, because it can be very nervous, and they can be quite you know anxious at the start. So just take each question, and um, answer them to the best of your ability. Um, um, there's, no, there's no right or wrong answer because everyone's quite, answers will be very different because they will talk about their own experiences. Um, it'll just depend on what you bring in your answer that you'll be marked on. It isn't a black and white, you have failed. You know, it is very much about just trying to assess those personal skills. And because of that, as I said, there isn't, it isn't a pass-fail. It is just we're just looking to ensure our students have those core values. We are p preparing our students to be healthcare professionals. These students need to be empathetic. They need to, be, as I said, be able to communicate. They need to be able to problem solve. They need to have leadership. So we're just making sure our, the students that we are bringing into that, our degree are aligned with those values. Okay. I come to, this, come to QUV Pharmacy and we will take care of We are really excited to welcome Korean students here to QUV uh, uh, and to study pharmacy. We can't wait to bring you here. We have lots of opportunities and we are always willing to continue to expand our great international body here at the school. Yes, no, we're very excited. We love whenever students coming from all around the world. Um, it'll be great that you could come, you can enjoy Queen's and see what Queen's and Belfast what, and Northern Ireland can offer you um, here as a place to live and to study. See you Thank soon. You.